hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you the function which is very commonly used in most of the business scenario which is average average is something you all the time need it for the calculation of your uh, dimension and according to the measure that you are picking up for example what are the average sales across the quarters or if you compare Q1 uh 2009 to 2010 to 2011 whether the average sale is increasing or decreasing all those different types of questions is continuously coming in a normal business scenario apart from the actual function or at the actual value like sum of sales that's the actual value for q1 but what is the average value so to find the average value the function that you need to use is the average so if I go into the function over here and add, let me click, yeah, AVG is your function, not the entire average. A-V-E-R-A-G-E -E is not used. AVG is the function here. So average and uh, then simply sales, right? And click off apply. And this is basically the average sales of average sale. Uh, of Q1 and this is very very helpful in terms of understanding uh, across the different product line across the different customers that you have uh, based on all the transactions that are happening what is the average sale so in 2009 uh, Q1 it is 25 2250 then 1712 1829 so on and so forth and then you can actually go into the maybe a reasoning why the average sales is increasing or decreasing or behaving the way it is behaving so this type of calculation is very much needed and I'm, what i'm doing is i'm just dragging up so that every sale is beside to sum of sale and uh, you can figure it out uh, uh, with the help of some reasoning what are the way wh why it is behaving the way it is behaving so this is about how you can use the average function to find the average value uh, across from the dimension from the measure that is of your interest. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to talk in this video and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.